Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday, and welcome to this educational presentation, where today I'd like to talk to you about two edges that I strongly believe will change the way you trade candlesticks. We often get a lot of new students who are candlestick traders, and they're having a very difficult time trading them. For example, let me share with you this chart here in Netflix. This is a weekly chart in Netflix. Let me show you how these two edges can really improve your trading. Just by looking at these four weekly bars, one of the edges I'm going to be teaching you today actually would have generated a buy signal right here. And in the following weeks, you could have potentially captured up to 155 points. Now, as the market progressed and kind of pulled back and went a little bit lower, another signal was generated right here at this point coming into the new year. Now, most traders would have said, well, I missed that first one, so I'll be sure and take the second one. But with the second edge I'm going to be sharing with you today, it would have told you to stay out of this trade entirely. And that would have been a wise decision because you would have missed this downward move and you could have potentially lost a lot of money. But this way, you would not even have taken the trade at all. And on top of that, while the market was headed lower, the same edges would have produced a profitable signal here where potentially you could have captured up to 50 points. So you see these two edge in my opinion, will strongly improve your candlestick trading and put you on that road to consistency. Now, the best thing about all of these things I'm going to be sharing with you today is that they're one click away on the PTS Primo charting platform. This is the educational platform I developed with pro trader strategies that makes candlestick trading simple. So this is going to be a great educational presentation today. Thanks once again for taking time out of your Wednesday to join us. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. 15 years ago, I roughly teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies with one goal in mind, and that was simply to educate traders around the world. I'm happy to say that we have students in over 115 countries and in every state in the United States. Now, today, I want to talk to you about candlestick trading because I would venture to say that at some point, most traders have either dabbled with candlestick trading or are currently using candlestick trading in their, on their trading process. The trouble is, most of you are not seeing the type of results I'm sure you were promised or would like to see. Because in my opinion, I've been actually trading candlesticks since uh, they first were introduced in the United States roughly about uh, 40 years ago. And I started applying them on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. That's where I was first trading as a specialist, as we get the name specialist trading. And I was taught the same way I'm, I'm sure that most of you were taught to use candlesticks. And I wasn't seeing the same type of results either. In fact, I couldn't really make ends meet using candlesticks until I finally was able to look past the traditional wisdom of using candlesticks and apply these two edges. So that's what we're going to be talking about today in this educational presentation. Now, before we begin, we are required by law to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results. I have close to 150 or 160 examples to share with you, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also, please remember, since we are first and foremost an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, another way to find out more about us, if you haven't done so already, is to actually follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. I post up to uh, four or five different snapshots a day on signals our strategies have generated or little bits of education to give you a, a little insight into what our educational process and trading process is. I also post bits of financial wisdom uh, every day. So there's lots of great free education on a daily basis. Please feel free to follow us on Twitter. I remember we are different from other webinars you may have attended in the past. I see some new names here today in today's class. And if you've come here thinking, I'm going to tell you what I think the market's going to do, are we going to stop and go back up or are we topping out? That's really something that other presenters do. We don't have that concept or that philosophy with our education because our concept is you should never ask anyone what you think the market's going to do or what do you think of this stock or what do you think of this future or currency pair? You should know that yourself. You should never rely on anyone or anything telling you how to trade. Now, sure, you should have you know, some insight and some tools and some process, but you should be in charge of your own trading destiny. Now, think of it. Most of your trading decisions are based on someone or something else telling you what to do on a daily basis. Either you wait for the news to come out, the jobless claims or the economic report, or you wait to see what someone's saying on TV, whether they like the market or don't like the market, 
Or maybe you subscribe to some signal service or some chat room where they tell you what to buy or sell. See, we've all been taught, myself included, 45 years ago when I first started trading that someone or something else has all the answers. So you should just basically follow whatever they do. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's no truth to that because if that works so well, the entire industry is based on that premise. So if that works so well, why do 85% of all traders fail? It's because that really does not work at all. The only traders I have found in my 45 years of trading that are still consistent, that have that longevity, that are still able to trade not just a few months, but a few decades, are the ones that make their own trading decisions. So this is the concept and the goal behind what we teach to all of our students, not to rely on us that we're going to tell you what to buy or sell, but to rely on the education that we provide you with so that you can make your own decision. You see, a good mentor does not trade for you, but he teaches you how to trade. Now, what we teach is the specialist edge. It's the same edge I was taught 45 years ago, the same edge that has sustained me now for 45 years. Hopefully, it will be able to do the same for you. Now, a few announcements before we begin today's educational class. Uh, remember, this is a class, but uh, it is a Zoom platform uh, class. But remember, it's not interactive. So I ask that you please remember to disable all cameras and microphones. This is not something where we're going to be talking to each other and looking at each other's uh, uh, you know, uh, cameras and video over, over the class. This is a static PowerPoint presentation. Now, you will be able to ask me questions. I like to wait to the very end, though. So if you have questions, please wait to the very end of class. I promise I'll get to each and every one of them if you have them. The only question I will answer is the most common, and that is, is this being recorded? Sure it is. We record all of our free webinars. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical issues, I've been told that oftentimes if you just log off and then log back on again, your issues will be uh, taken care of. Many times it's just your internet connection. But if you still are having difficulty seeing or hearing the screen, don't worry. Uh, each and every one of you will be sent a link to this recording. OK, so please remember, disable all cameras and microphones and please wait till the end to ask questions. With that stated, let's start today's educational class. Now, we're going to begin and we're going to jump right into it. We're going to talk about these two edges, okay? So what is the very first edge? Well, candlestick edge number one is a great strategy that we have. It's candlestick strategy number five, okay? Now, let me get, share with you some of the highlights of this particular method. It's a non-traditional candlestick method. Remember, the way most uh, traders are taught how to trade candlesticks, the traditional way, really doesn't work in terms of consistency. Sure, every once in a while, you'll have a nice trade, but most, most of the time, you're, you know, most of the traders are not seeing the type of results. Well, this is a non-traditional way of trading candlesticks. We'll show you some examples in just a few minutes here. Now, it has the ability to be traded with all candlestick patterns. We're only going to focus on one today, but you can apply this concept to all candlestick patterns. Now, it can be also applied to all markets or time frames. Now, we have many students in Europe who only trade this with currency pairs intraday. We also have students that trade this with e-mini futures, and we also have traders who trade this with stocks or cryptos or uh, other markets, ETFs, indices. So that's the beauty of strat strategy number five. It can be transferred onto all markets and all time frames. Remember, it's up to you to decide what you feel is the best market to apply strategy number five to. It's up to you to decide the best time frame. I'm not going to tell you what the best time frame is or the best market because it's different for every trader. I can't tell you how many students have sent me testimonials saying, Steve, I love strategy number five, and I think the best market is on the uh, currency pairs. It works fantastic on 10-minute uh, uh, pairs, and uh, Australian dollar is amazing. Whereas someone else will send me a, a, a testimonial saying, Steve, this works amazingly on weekly bars of the uh, of stocks. And someone else will say, Steve, I love it on crypto. So they're not all right and they're not all wrong. The only thing that's right about them is that you decide for yourself what you feel is the best. Remember, that's our credo. That's our philosophy. It's up to you to decide. We're not going to sit here and tell you how to trade. That, once again, is a recipe for disaster. That is what, in my opinion, has led to the 85 percentile of traders losing money. OK, so let's look at this uh, older chart here of uh, MasterCard. All right. Here's a strategy number five buy signal that was generated. And as you can see, very uh, unconventionally, we went up in the next two days. The reason why it's unconventional is because most traders view candlesticks as a, a reverse or a type of reversal pattern where you're looking to buy at the very lows and looking to sell at the very highs, okay? Whereas in this example, 
the market was basically going sideways in a range or uh, very, you know, not very, uh, a lot of uh, volatility or momentum, and it still generated a signal. Or right here, once again, kind of a sideways range market, whipsaw market going up, going down, going up, going down. And this was an older chart in Facebook. But here we have two sell signals generated. And as you can see, it fell out of bed and started to go lower. Now, as with all methods, nothing, doesn't matter if it's one of my methods, one of someone else's, nothing works 100% of the time. As we look at this older chart in Tesla here, here's a buy signal generated, strategy number five. Uh, it's been uh, it's been uh, a valid uh, confirmation as per the rules and requirements of the strategy. And then look what happened straight down. So we ask ourselves, is there a way to increase the consistency of strategy number five? Because we know not everything works 100 percent of the time. But is there another way to give us a higher level of consistency to kind of take our uh, trading to the next level? This brings us to edge number two. Candlestick edge number two is another tool I was first introduced to some four decades ago on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange, and this is the PET D. All right, now you've heard me speak about this before. This is probably one of our most popular trading tools at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. But for those of you who aren't aware of what it is, the easiest way to describe it is simply by saying it's a color bar translator. Because basically the PET D translates on a tick by tick basis, what any market wants to do, any market and any time frame. So that's basically what it's doing. It's, it's very sensitive and it's telling you tick by tick, does it wanna go higher? Does it wanna go lower? And the way we uh, apply this is by making it into a color bar tool. For example, most traders at this point would say, well, sure, this stock is going up. And by this point right here, you decided that it's going up. And then look what happens, right? Is there any way we could have found out earlier? Could the actual stock have translated to us earlier what it wanted to do before we bought at the top? Well, sure. On our platform, simply click on the Pet D tab and the bars automatically change color. Now, if you see a series of green bars, the market is telling you it wants to go higher. That's it. If you see a series of red bars, it's telling you it wants to go lower. Now, once you know the direction the market wants to go through its translation, then you can apply any strategy to confirm, okay? In other words, any method, any technique, you can confirm if you're in sync with what the market wants to do. And by doing that, you've automatically increased your odds for consistency. So when we combine these two edges, strategy number five, along with the pet D, we have one of our, I'd say, uh, most consistent methods to date at specialist trading and pro trader strategies. And that's what we call our candlestick combo. Strategy number five, in addition with the pet D. So here's what we're going to talk about today. Now, remember, you can use the candlestick combo with any candlestick pattern. Let's just talk about what we feel is the most common and the easily recognized of all the candlesticks. And those are engulfing patterns, OK? And we're going to apply this today with all the examples just to make it simple for the people who aren't familiar with candlesticks. Now, just to give you a refresher course, a candlestick uh, uh, engulfing pattern is uh, composed of two bars. Now, a bullish engulfing pattern is composed of bar number one opening and closing lower, as represented by the dark body. And then bar number two is an update and it opens and closes higher. Now, the reason why they call it an engulfing pattern is because bar number two engulfs the open to close range of bar number one. Now, when you see something like this, usually most likely we're supposed to be going higher, okay? That's conventional wisdom. Now, the opposite side of the coin, or I should say, I'm sorry, before I talk to you about the opposite side, let's talk about how we're gonna apply the candlestick combo because it's a little bit different. We're only gonna buy a bullish engulfing pattern if the engulfing bar, which is bar number two, is colored green. Remember, we want our translator, the PET D, to be confirming to filter out these bad trades and to bring our consistency to a higher level. And the way it does that is by making sure that bar number two is green. Now, it's okay if bar number one is green, but it doesn't matter. Bar number one could be red. All that matters is that bar number two is colored green and you automatically increase your odds for consistency. For example, here's our standard generic bullish engulfing pattern. But when we add the pet D, 
we see that bar number two is outlined green. Now it's an update because it's a hollow bar. This is the traditional way of looking at candlesticks, but the non-traditional way of trading them is by applying the PET D. So we see that bar number two is outlined green, and now we have a high probability up move set. Now let's talk about, now let's talk about the opposite side of the coin, which are bearish engulfing patterns. This is, these are when the market usually is set to go lower. Once again, a bearish engulfing pattern is a two bar pattern. Bar number one opens and closes higher usually, but bar number two opens and closes lower. Now, the reason why they call it a bearish engulfing pattern is because if bar number two's open to close range engulfs bar number one, well, most likely you'll see the market go lower. But there's not a high level of consistency to this. Remember, this will work some of the times, but the times it doesn't, you'll give back and lose more than you made on it. How do we increase our odds for consistency? Well, by applying the candlestick combo. We're only going to sell if the engulfing bar or bar number two is colored red. That's it. That's how simple this process is. But let me share with you some examples to show you how consistent it is. For example, looking back once again at this generic two bar bearish engulfing pattern, once we apply the pet D, all we're concerned about is the color of bar number two. And bar number two is colored red. Doesn't matter what bar number one is. Bar number one could be colored red as well, but it doesn't matter. All we're concerned about is bar number two, because if bar number two is colored red, this is a high probability setup for a down move. Okay, so let's look at this older chart in a Locky. All right, the standard way of trading candlesticks is usually as a reverse type of uh, uh, setup or a reverse type of uh, process. For example, we'll be looking for bullish engulfing patterns somewhere towards the bottom. And as we look at this chart, we see here that we have two. Here we have one and here we have another. Now, conventional wisdom would tell us that these are good buys, these are strong buys, and most likely we're going to go higher. This is the way I was taught, this is the way most students are taught. You always wanna buy at the low of these downtrends and sell at the high, okay? Well, let me share with you what usually happens with this traditional way of trading candlesticks. This happens, all right? This is why most candlestick traders are not seeing the type of results they want because there's not that high a level of consistency. So what happens if we apply the translator? Remember, in order to buy those bars, the bar number two of the engulfing pattern right here and right here need to be colored green. So once we apply the pet D, what color are they? They're outlined red. So what was the translator telling us? Saying, do not buy these because I want to go lower. I'm translating what the market wants to do and it's telling us it wants to go lower. So why would you buy something if it wanted to go lower? See, this is most of the time why traders fail because you're out of sync with what the market wants to do. We're taught these things that really hold no high levels of consistency. Most of the time, we're trying to buy really inexpensive stocks or, or, or currency pairs or futures and the market continues to go lower and that's why you lose. And if you sell, most of the time, the market is telling you it wants to go higher. And that's why you lose. You're out of sync with what the market wants to do. That's the beauty of the Pat D. It's telling you on a tick-by-tick -tick basis what the market wants to do. So therefore, you can apply strategy number five with a high level of consistency. Now, since we knew well in advance, right up here, we had consecutive red bars well before the market fell out of bed. Anywhere from three to five consecutive bars of a separate color will tell you the direction. Now here we had two green bars, that's not enough. Remember you need three to five. So until we saw three consecutive green bars, the market is telling us it still wants to go lower. So we knew well in advance, way back here, that the market wanted to go lower. And on top of that, since we're looking now at a lower market through our translator, we wanna look for bearish engulfing patterns. And what do we have right here? A bearish engulfing pattern that could have potentially captured 40 points had we stayed in long enough. If you missed that one, don't worry, there was another one right here and then another one right here. So you see the beauty of this process, how simple it is because first of all, you have a high uh, level of a consistency in strategy number five, and then you have the translator with the pet D added. This is why we call it our candlestick combo and why it's one of our most consistent packages at specialist trading and pro trader strategy. Okay, so you understand the process. Let's go through some more 
uh, uh, ways of creating this. And let me just show you once more the process of applying this. Remember, everything you're seeing today is displayed coming from our platform. You'll see how simple it is to click on a strategy number five signal, how simple it is to click on a pet D, uh, you know, translator. And you can decide in minutes if you want to take the trade or not. This is what makes trading simple. And Pro Trader Strategies and I developed this platform specifically to make it simple so that you can make your own trading decisions. Remember, that's what it's all about. That's the only way to get onto the road to consistency by making your own decisions. Okay, so let's look at some recent examples, and these are going to be buys, okay? All right, here's an example of Microsoft. Once again, kind of a nowhere going market, kind of fading higher, but traditional wisdom would say, well, since we're kind of slowly heading up, we're looking for a reversal. So we're looking for a bearish engulfing pattern. We're not going to buy anything because the trend has been going up. We always want to look for a reversal. That's not the way we trade this. That's a traditional way. We're trading it in sync with what the pet D is telling us. So we're in an uptrend, but we're not going to sell. We want to be in sync with the market. First thing we do is click on strategy number five, okay? And in the drop-down menu, click on signal arrows. And automatically on our platform, you'll see where a buy signal has been generated. And there's one right here towards the high of this little short-term uptrend. Now, we do not teach black boxes. You'll know all the rules of strategy number five, but this is how you check your work. So for example, if you say to yourself, hey, I think there's a strategy number five signal here, then the way we teach you is to click on strategy five the way we just did uh, on the platform and see if there was an actual up arrow there. If there is, then you're learning how to identify this strategy on your own and you're making your own decisions. You see the process that we wanna teach you how to trade? Now, in order to take this to the next level, we have to see what our translator is saying. Now, we wanna see that that bar, this is bar number two in the bullish engulfing pattern, is colored green. Click on the pet D on our platform, and yes, it is. In fact, all the bars have been green, but that's okay. We just want to make sure this one is. So if you wanted to take that signal at the very end of the day, or maybe in the opening of the next day, that's okay, because guess what? You could have potentially made 12 points in just three days, okay? Let's look at another example here. This one's in ADP. We're still kind of headed higher, kind of a slow upward move, looking traditionally for a selling or reversal pattern. But strategy five generated another buy signal right at the very highs of that short-term uptrend. And if we had the pet D, it's confirmed. So rather than looking for a selling opportunity, we should be taking this buying opportunity of the candlestick combo because in the next week or so, we could have captured potentially 20 points. See how simple this is when you have a strategy that is consistent. And then secondly, when you are in sync with the translator. Let's look at VRTX, okay? This is a very strong uptrend. Now, looking back in hindsight, this is the way most traders say to yourself, they say, well, gosh, I, I sold this and I lost a lot of money or else they'll say, gosh, I missed this. I would have taken advantage of this, but I didn't know where to buy. Well, with the candlestick combo, you would have known well in advance, back down here that we had an uptrend in place. So you would have known well before it had this nice upward move that you should be a buyer. And then secondly, once you added strategy number five, look at all these buy examples and buy setups that you could have taken advantage of. Had you taken advantage of the first one, potentially you could have captured 30 points. All right, here's an example in Costco. Once again, we have a nice upward move, okay? Slowly drifting higher. But most traders will say, well, you know, Steve, I went to that chat room and uh, the guy, who's supposed to be this expert trader, he doesn't like this. He said it's overbought. In fact, all of his proprietary indicators say it's overbought. So I don't really want to buy this because uh, he's supposed to be right a lot. And he has a big following. So I don't know. I think I'll stay away from this. Do you see how this is? I mean, it probably sounds familiar, right? This is how a lot of traders make decisions on their trading. I know I did when I first started trading four decades ago. I'm sure many of you do the same thing even today. Okay. But Strategy number five generated a buy signal. And on top of that, if you add the pet D, it was confirmed. In fact, the pet D was telling us well in advance to be a buyer in this, not to look to sell it, okay? And you take advantage of that signal, 35 points in the next week or so. This is the beauty of the candlestick combo. You have a higher level of consistency trading candlesticks. All right, REGN. Now, 
Once again, the market kind of looks like it's going sideways. Here's where most traders are taught to just avoid these markets. This is a whipsaw market. It goes up, back down, goes up, back down, kind of just going in a range. Probably best not to do anything until it breaks out, either to the upside or to the downside. Well, not really true because our translator will tell us what the market wants to do. Now, a strategy five buy signal was generated in the beginning of March last month, and it was confirmed by the PAT-T. Now, remember, there are a bunch of red bars here. All we are concerned about is bar number two. And look what happened. 90 points coming into this month, April. Okay. So what happened to that range market that you're waiting for to break out or break down? See, the market was telling you it was okay to buy that, but most of us are listening, waiting for the earnings. We're waiting for that news announcement, or we don't like what's going on in the world. So we kind of will sit back and wait. Listen to the market. Listen to what it's telling you, and you will have a higher level of consistency. Now, remember, we started off the presentation with that weekly chart of Netflix. How did we get those signals? They worked out pretty well, right? Well, on a weekly basis, a strategy number five signal was generated right here and potentially could have captured 155 points. But then another one was captured right here, or I should say was generated right here. And look, that would have been a big loss, but we never would have taken it. And then lastly, there was a sell signal and we could have potentially captured a quick 50 points coming into last month. So how could we have done that, all right? If we had just traded strategy number five alone, we have two good signals and then one very bad one. Here's the beauty of applying the PAT-D because the PAT-D will filter out the good from the bad. This was colored green, so it gave you the okay to be long Netflix. This buy signal was outlined red. So it immediately told you not to buy this. And look what happened. You see how the translator told you, do not get involved in this. I want to go lower. And so you would have bypassed that big loss. And then lastly, another signal was generated here. You could have potentially captured 50 points. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, OK, so Steve, yeah, I would have made 205 points if I took the signal and got out the very top or took the signal and got out the very low. But uh, you know, how do we do that? All right. We in the course, remember, we're just providing you with information. We have upwards of seven different exit strategies, okay? We also have seven different entry methods. And we also have six or seven different stop placement methods. Remember, our job is to provide you with this information. And you choose whatever makes you feel the, the most comfortable. And so that's how you become a part of the process. That's how you decide for yourself, not by someone telling you on a nightly basis, Here's where you buy tomorrow. Here's where you sell. Here's where you place your stop. Oh, that's up to you to decide. Now, some traders have a higher degree of risk. They can stand losing tons of thousands of dollars on a nightly basis, where someone else, if they lost a couple of hundred, would say, that's it. I'm out. I can't, I can't sleep at night. So let's say you didn't make 205. Let's say you only made half of that, okay, because of the way you entered and the way you exit. All right, that's still over 100 points. Don't you think you'd be happy with 100 points? Let's say you only made 50 points or 25. Don't you think you'd be happy with 25 or 30 points? So I'm not saying you, you would have you know, guaranteed made 205 points. We're saying that's what you had to work with to capture. If you only captured half of that, don't you think you'd be happy with a 100-point gain in just you know, six months? Remember, these are weekly bars. Okay, so we've looked at buys. Let's look at some sell examples, okay? Remember, it's the same exact process. We just turn things upside down. For example, we're looking at MAR, Marriott, kind of a sideways market, right? This is coming into last month. Most traders would say, this is a range market, Steve. I don't want to do anything. It's kind of just going up, going back down. I'm going to wait for it to break out either to the upside or to the downside. Well, where most traders see only a range market, if you apply strategy number five, click on the signal arrows to check your work and there's actually a sell signal right there, okay? Now, in order to take it to the next level, let's confirm it with the pet D. If we apply the pet D, yes, it's confirmed because for us to go short or for us to sell, maybe we wanna buy the puts, maybe we wanna purchase some spread with a downward bias, it's up to you. Remember, you're in charge of your trading. We're not telling you how or what market or what uh, you know, variable to trade. It's entirely your decision. But if you shorted this, you had a very nice little 17 point gain in just two days, okay? It's about 10% loss in value that you would have been on the right side of. Let's look at this uh, example in Facebook coming into February, okay? A couple of months ago, two cells here. Now, this is a great example of what I mean by 
strategy number five and the candlestick combo be very consistent because most traders think that when you say something is consistent, they automatically assume, oh, that means it has tons of winners. Okay, I'll buy this or I'll trade this because I'm never going to lose. No, that's not what consistent means. I've often stated this, but just to reiterate, consistent consistency in the markets means that you have an awareness that you will have losses. Okay, there's nothing wrong with having a loss. Just like uh, any basketball player will miss the basket every once in a while. Every uh, baseball player will strike out. Every entertainer will have a, a flop movie or a flop uh, song or an album. That's okay. But what you're really concerned about is a strategy that's able to recoup those losses. An athlete that's able to make the next two or three baskets or hit the next home run where before they had struck out. That's what consistent means, a two-step forward, one-step back approach. So had you taken either one of these signals, look what happened. They were both confirmed by the pet D, so you have two valid candlestick combo setups to go short. And it didn't work. Remember, it doesn't work 100% of the time. So let's say you had used a very, very tight stop. At the worst, you most likely would have lost 12 points. Okay. That's not, you know, it's not a lot, but at the same time, it, you know, depending on how many shares you had or how many contracts, you still don't like to take a loss. This is where most traders uh, and new students of mine will send me emails and say, hey, Steve, this doesn't work. My first trade, I lost 12 points. And I thought you said this was consistent. And this means that we're going to make tons of winners. Consistency means you have an awareness that you will have losses from time to time, but a consistent method is one that's able to recoup those losses. So had you just gone and sulked by yourself the way most traders do, you would have missed an opportunity to take advantage of this downward move because ultimately it did kick into the downside. We we're just a little bit too early, but that's okay because look what we have here. More signals were generated where potentially you could have captured 40 points. Now, you think you could have made back that 12 points that you lost and maybe make a little bit more? This is what we mean by consistency in a trading method. And this is what you're looking for. You should not, in my opinion, look for a strategy that promises the world, that hits home runs, that never loses, and that made you know 10,000% uh, last year, because they can just as easily lose that. You want something that has a two-step forward, one-step back approach. Why? Because that's what will give you longevity. That's what will allow you to trade, not just for a couple of months before you give it all back, but maybe a couple of decades, two or three or four decades. Here's an example in Zoom, okay? As we look at this in hindsight, sure, it's been going straight down, but wouldn't you have liked to know somewhere around here that it was going lower? And wouldn't you have liked to take advantage of that? Well, sure. First thing we wanna do is apply the PET-D and look how the PET-D told us well in advance on its tick by tick translation of this stock that it wanted to go lower. This one, the stock was trading roughly about 170, 180, okay? And now all you have to do is be in sync with that and look at the sell signals that you could have taken advantage of. Had you taken the very first one, potentially you could have captured upwards of 75 points to the downside. Let's look at DOCU, DocuSign, all right? Obviously, the PET D is telling us the market wants to go lower. Here's a strategy number five signal. The bar is colored red and it gapped down. Most likely, if I had taken this trade, I would have covered on this day right here. That's a nice profit to... Now, had you covered, look, the bars were still red. You could have taken advantage of all these sell signals and had some more nice trades to the downside. Remember, the PET D is a great way to get you in sync with whatever you're trading, whatever market. Strategy number five is a great way to trade candlesticks that give you a higher level of consistency. Let's look at CHTR. This is a weekly chart of charter, okay? Most traders would look at this and say, okay, we're going lower. So the way I was taught, Steve, to trade candlesticks is I should look for a reversal pattern. So I want to go long. But what happens when we teach you how to trade strategy number five and in the drop-down menu, click on signal arrows and it generates two signals like this. You have a buy and a sell. So what do you do? This is the beauty of the candlestick combo, because remember, the pet D will filter out and tell you what the market wants to do. In order for us to go long, this bar needs to be outlined green. And in order for us to go short, it needs to be outlined red. So what is the market telling us? What is the translator telling us? Well, just click on the pet D, and we instantly know that we should not take this buy signal. Why? Because it's outlined red. So we would not have taken that. Therefore, we would not have had a losing trade. And we would only take this one because this one is a valid 
strategy number five, candlestick combo setup. And once again, you can take it if you want, it's up to you, it's not required, but had you taken that, 130 points to the downside. You see how valuable it is to have the pet D along with strategy number five. All right, really quickly, let's look at some other markets and other time frames. Remember, I, I said earlier, you can transfer the candlestick combo onto any market and time frame. So here's an example of the Australian dollar coming into uh, this month, April. We had two strategy five buy signals. When we apply the pet D, they're both confirmed. Had you taken the first one, well, coming into this first week of April, that's 180 pips. That's close to $1,800 per unit. How about crypto uh, traders here? All right, here's a chart of Bitcoin. This is going back to the beginning of the year into February, okay? Crypto was falling out of bed, going lower and lower. And we look in hindsight, someone would say, well, gosh, you know, I, I wish I would have known I would have gotten out or maybe I would have not bought because I, I didn't know it. I, all my friends and everyone on TV was, was telling me to buy this and everyone online on that uh, chat page was telling me, you gotta buy it now. Well, look what the translator was telling us well in advance, coming into the new year, do not buy this, okay? Why? Because it wants to go lower. Now, if you applied strategy number five, look at all the sell signals. And you could have potentially made 12,000 points or at least saved yourself 12,000 points from not getting in and buying off of the frenzy of thinking, well, it's gone too low. We've got to buy it at these lower prices. Remember, there's no such thing as oversold or overbought. Markets will go as low as they want and they'll go as high as they want. The trick is to be in sync with them. And that's the beauty of the candlestick combo. You're trading in sync with the market. And lastly, let's look at a two hour chart of the QQQs. That's the ETF that represents the NASDAQ index, okay? We know that some traders like to trade intraday. If you like to do that, you can apply the same process. It makes no difference here. As we look at these bars here, remember this is a two hour chart. We're only looking at about four bars here, okay? These each represent two hours. Now. Someone would say, well, there's not enough information, but actually there is. If we apply strategy number five, click on signal arrows and all the requirements are met for a valid buy signal. But that's strategy five alone. We wanna make sure that this bar is outlined green. So we click on the pet D. You see, it makes no difference what time frame or what market. Now we're trading an ETF and it's confirmed. So this was just roughly about a month ago, less than that, about three weeks ago, you could have taken this signal and generated 30 points potentially in just two weeks, okay? And if you missed that first signal, there was another one generated uh, about a week later, or maybe you only potentially could have made 15 points, okay? That's not a, little, not a bad trade in, in a week, about 15 points. Remember, this is off a two hour time frame, but the same rules apply, the same requirements and the same ease of trading. Okay, let's recap. Remember, in order to trade the candlestick combo, you only want to buy and sell candlestick patterns that are in sync with the pet D. So ask yourself, do you think our candlestick combo method can help your trading? All right, I think most of you would answer yes. So because of that, we have a great special and a great discount for all of you attending today. This is our candlestick combo special. We're going to offer you Strategy number five, along with the pet D, that's a primo early trend detector. Now you're gonna get the instant course access, detailed video instruction. We're gonna fill you in with all the entries, all the numerous entry points, all the different exit points and all the different stop placements for you to choose. Remember, you're in charge of your trading destiny. If you're the type of trader that likes to uh, you know, uh, buy right at the market, we have different ways to do that. If you're the type of trader that wants to get a better price, once the signal has been entered, uh, generated, then we have entries for that. Remember, we provide you with the information, you choose how to buy, how to exit and how to sell. So you're gonna get the entire course rules. And in addition to this, you're gonna get the pet D which comes with four separate trading techniques. Now, right now I share with you how to apply the pet D with strategy number five. You saw how valuable that is. On top of that, we're gonna supply you with four individual trading techniques that rely only on using the pet D. This in and of itself is of great value. You're gonna get that included as well, along with educational correspondence. But remember, everything you saw today was displayed using the PTS Primo charting platform. You saw how simple it is to do, right? To, to access, just one click away. Well, we're gonna throw in a full year of the charts included. Now, usually a full year will cost you close to $1,200.
we are going to discount that tremendously today. In fact, we're going to discount it down to zero. We're going to throw in a full year free of the PTS Primo charting platform if you decide to become a student of mine in the Candlestick Combo course. Now remember, just with the Candlesticks, I should say, I'm sorry, just with the PTS Primo charting platform, you don't just get the Candlestick strategy, you don't just get Pet D, you get a host of different things that I've accumulated in my 45 years of trading. These are different tips, techniques, and methods you won't find anywhere else. Things like proprietary buy sell line, our uh, strength of trend tool, personalized tech support, and many other things that you won't find on another platform. But let me share with you what I feel are the most valuable. And these are the nightly scanner and the automatic exit levels. Remember, we share with you numerous ways to exit, but one of the best ways is automatically generated on the platform. With one click, you'll know exactly where these exit levels are. And the ease of use of the scanner, we're just getting rave reviews about because it's so simple just to scan for literally hundreds of stocks on a nightly basis, take you just minutes to perform. For example, as we look at this older chart here in uh, Seattle Genetics, once again, a strategy number five buy signal was generated right here. Now here's the beauty of this. You could have scanned for that and seen that, okay, we have a strategy number five buy signal. You could have confirmed it with the pet D and said, okay, now we have a candlestick combo set up right here. All right, this is great. But here's the beauty of using these, uh, not only the scanner to scan for this, but also the automatically generated exit levels. With one click on the platform, you would see different areas in which to exit. These are high probability exit points. As you can see, in roughly about a week, we got up to exit level number two, and you could have potentially made a 15 point gain right there. And look what happened right after that. See how valuable these exit levels are? This is just one of our exiting techniques but it's one click away on the platform. Here's another example here, older chart in gold, G-O-L-D. This is Barrett Gold. A valid strategy number five candlestick combo was scanned and generated here. So you could have taken this signal, but before you did, you wanna say, well, how low do I think this may go? These are the different exit levels it was projecting. And look what happened in the next month. We went right down to that low exit level number four and then bounced and went up. This all comes included with a host of different techniques and methods. Once again, you won't find anywhere else, only on the PTS Primo charting platform. All right, so let's break this down. What's the great discount we're talking about? Well, let me just tell you what normally it would cost to buy all these separately. All right, if you purchase the Pet D, we're talking close to $5,000, okay? If you just simply purchase strategy number five alone, it would be close to $700. And once again, the platform costs close to $1,200, okay? So roughly, if you decided not to take this great offer today and say to yourself, you know, I'll just think about it and I'll go buy it on my own. Well, you're going to be spending $6,800, maybe $6,900 if you sold or purchased these separately. Here's the great offer we have for all of you today for attending. Attendee discount only $497. That's a one-time payment of $497 and then just a monthly payment of $97, okay? But this is for a limited time only. Why wait and think about this and then ultimately spend close to $7,000 when you can purchase all of this outright for less than $500 at one time payment and then $97 per month. That's it. Now, you can purchase both courses with no lease at all for the, uh, the, uh, all of this for the Pet D lease for $29.95. That's the first year annual fee is waived. So if you'd like to purchase everything together, it's $29.95. But we feel the $4.97 is the best bang for your buck because it's such a small payment and you have a small monthly payment, okay? A year from today, you will have wished you became a member of the Candlestick Combo course. Don't sit on this offer and then come back and see that, wow, I'm gonna have to spend $7,000 for what I could have paid for a one-time fee of $4.97 and then just $97 per month. Take advantage of this great offer. And remember, you're gonna get in a full year of the PTS Primo charts thrown in absolutely free. That in and of itself is a great value because you're gonna get so many more things included on the platform that we didn't talk about today. So here's how to take advantage of this. Contact Pro Trader Strategy. I developed the platform with them. They're in charge of all the tech support. And on top of that, they're in charge of all the pricing as well as developing a payment uh, uh, um, plan for you. So if you'd like to take advantage of that great discount, I would highly suggest giving them a call at area code 310-598-6677.
They have trading consultants manning the phones right there. Now they'd be more than happy to answer any questions concerning price or tech support. Uh, they're happy to work with you. They're very uh, easily uh, are able to work with and they're very flexible. So there's real you no know, uh, obligation. You don't worry or feel like, well, if I call up, does that mean I have to purchase something? No, they'll be happy to work with you and give you a quote if you have something else in mind, okay? Now that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the online signup page if, or if you'd like to get more information, there's more information on that. And we've just posted a live link in the chat box. So uh, a little bit easier, just simply go to the chat box and click on the live link there and it will uh, take you to that page, all right? And I promised I would reserve the final portion of today's educational class for questions. So if you have any, just go to your chat box and I will be happy to answer them right now. I'll leave, I'll leave this info up here on the page. Um, someone's already asking, what does the PET-D stand for? Okay, well, uh, I think we showed on the graphic, the PET-D stands for the, uh, the uh, Primo Early Trend Detector. Now, remember, I didn't actually uh, create the PET-D. Uh, once again, I was taught this when I was on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange some four decades ago. But at that time, we simply called it the formula because it's a very cumbersome formula that you have to calculate almost on a tick by tick basis. And there's absolutely no way you could be able to trade if you wanted to use it intraday. So we used to just use it for an end of day type of tool. But because of high speed computers and the programmers we have, uh, we developed it, ProTrader Strategies and myself developed it into a color bar tool. So when we gave it the name, we gave it the name of the Primo Early Trend Detector because that's basically it's. Uh, first use. It depends what the trend is. Or another way to simply say that is that it translates what the market wants to do. So in my opinion, uh, you know, we, we call it the translator, but the uh, PET-D stands for the Primo Early Trend Detector. So I hope that makes sense. Okay. Um, someone says, what are these four PET-D techniques? Well, I can't really, I, I don't want to go into them right now because that's what you get in the course. It wouldn't be fair to the people who are purchasing the course right now. But just let me tell you that they don't rely on any strategies or rules with a particular strategy. What it does is that the pet D has literally dozens, if not hundreds, of ways to apply and use with trading any market or time frame. And because of that, we have noticed that there are tremendous techniques. That means that highlights or puts a spotlight on high probability points of entry. And there are different ways of looking at the pet D. And that's what we teach you. Now, two of these techniques are pullback techniques, meaning that you'll buy at a lower level. Uh, two of two other ones are continuation, meaning that you'll buy within the trend. Now, this is really uh, fantastic because some traders, when they uh, get the pet D, that's all they use. They use it uh, to trade with these techniques. So you're getting that thrown in entirely free with the candlestick combo course. So this is a great, great offer of itself. Those the, those pet D techniques, in my opinion, will be worth close to five thousand dollars alone. Just all four of them, and you're getting those thrown in completely free with the course uh, altogether. So you're getting that along with strategy five, along with a year of the platform. Remember for less than $500, one-time payment, you can be up and running as early as today, okay? Any other questions? Let me just see here if I missed anything. I guess not. Remember with each and every one of my courses, including the candlestick combo uh, course, you get my personal email address. You can contact me whenever you'd like. Now, sometimes I'm more busy than others and I don't get back as quickly as I'd like to, but I try to get back as soon as possible to answer any questions that you may have. So these are uh, you know, uh, questions that come to my specific uh, personal email address. They don't go to an assistant of mine. They don't go to a, an intern. They come directly to me. No one else sees them and no one else answers them other than myself. So. This is another added perk. It's like having your own personal mentor there alongside of you. Even though I can't sit next to you while you're learning these methods, you can contact me whenever you'd like, okay? So that's another great addition to this uh, great discount. Okay, if there are no further questions, I just want to say thank you so much. I hope you learned how uh, our concepts of trading can really increase your odds for consistency. I hope we learned the value of the candlestick combo along with how easy and simple it is to apply it with the platform I developed with ProTrader Strategies, the PTS Primo charting platform. But most especially, I just hope you become a student of mine in the Candlestick Combo course. As we take one last look at our disclaimer, I just wanna thank you once again for attending today and please have a great week and a profitable one. I hope to see you in the Candlestick Combo course. Thank you so much for attending. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.